the problem that I have with the new age woman, which I feel like is the gap between keeping the man, she's just she's just in a whole different mind frame and place right now. That's not meeting where we are. There's no room to satisfy somebody else. Mm -hmm. I have to be satisfied, period, right now. I've earned the right to be satisfied, and that's what I want right now. That's what the- Now you guys you know die for each other. But, look, but listen, that's, that's the old man way, but that's how women are thinking right now. And that's okay. I'm not opposed to that. But when the odds aren't in your favor, mm -hmm. that's why the people who has the favor are looking at y'all like y'all crazy because we had the favor and that wasn't good enough for y'all. Mm. So how's it now gonna be good enough for me that you're giving it to me? In order to be a boss, you have to, like he said, you get sweated and people watch us or follow us because we go hard and we finish everything that we're trying to do. And while I'm finishing that, I'm making sure that my wife is good. I'm making sure that my mother and father is good. My kid is good. I check on my friends. I make sure my friends is good. Because if I'm a boss, we all gonna eat. That's why I travel with my man to put me on to this. Because if I'm gonna eat, we all gonna eat. Yep. That's a boss move. But these women, that's boss women, ain't nobody else eating. <laughs> Just them. Just them. <laughs> they in. And that's and that's all well and good. They buying their Birkins and they looking fly and yeah. all of that. But nobody else I be, is I eating. Be, I'm not so, to put be, you off. Wait, hold on. And so I be trying to figure out, like, what did y'all get money for? For did, themselves. To not spend it on other? To watch it. Uh, I, and to watch yeah. it and say, I'm a boss. <laughs> And I don't need a you nigga. You guys say that Period. you're attracted to successful women, but when you're in the face of successful women, I feel like you guys I are didn't, just... I didn't say that. I said that. <laughs> yeah, like... I didn't say that. I don't mind successful women, but a successful woman that understands balance. But that's yeah. the only successful women that there is. Yeah, and yeah, I, that's and why I, I asked you. I'm you're like, not... Listen, women, you are not successful because you got some coins. Yes. Just like a man is not successful just he got because some money. he got some coins. Let me make sure that everybody He's a cornball with coins. And and you're a taker with coins. <laughs> she's a cornball too. She can be a cornball with, with coins too. It don't matter if she look good or not. She's a yeah. cornball with, with coins. coins. And you and there are many women that we have seen make money and and, and do and do this and wait for well, he's paying. What I don't I, like. What is this thing about this paper thing called money? I, I to be honest, I don't get it. Rico <laughs> knows I don't get it. I'm not a money guy. A knows this. Everybody, I'm not a money guy. Money shouldn't matter if you're in a happy relationship. But it, but when people, when when people need that, that defines them. Okay. Yep. And it used to be. It used to be. It only defined the man. That's yeah. what it used to be. He had to come with the money. You could be broke as Joe. You could drive around in a duster, a hole in the floor, and be fine. And the dude be like, yo, boo, I'm going to take you. You a good woman. Why? Because you going hard. You working hard. You got your kid in the back. You got the duster. You going to work. And you finding time to get with me. That's why we salute you. That's what the women don't get. The men get saluted because we're getting it done. Word. You can't just go going to work and calling yourself a boss is not getting it done. You're a boss when your man is like, all the nuts is sucked out of me. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> you can now go out and go with your friends. Go on a trip. You took care of home. I don't need you to cook. You did your job. I'm going to go pick up the food for us. That's a partnership. That's a boss. A boss ain't making money and leaving a man at home searching. Yeah. That's not a boss. If, if that's a man, if Rico's doing that, I'm like, Rico, you got that fine thing at home. You traveling all around the world. You ain't handling your, and he'll know. I'll be like, you ain't handling your business in there? I'll be out. What you expect? <laughs> what you expect? She gonna do? She Word. gonna look like you being a boss for yourself, not for us. And that's the same thing you think about all. All we've heard, right? Men have heard. Women have been in 
miserable mansions. That's true. Right? I, that's what I grew up hearing. Like, I, like, yeah, she's married to such and such. Yeah, they have such and such, but she's miserable. She don't like him. Because you know why? He's not a boss. You know what I'm saying? Because, well, either that or here's another thing why women can't keep a man. Because um, they marry ones with money. That they don't Money's like. Money's not everything. But, but they don't like them, though. You know what it is? I, so many people don't have money. So when I, I had to sit down and be like, yo, money is not everything, so why the hell would you do that? And I'm like, yo, you know what? If I had nothing, money. I would resort to I would resort to it too. To some money. <laughs> right? Just to just to live good. So I get why you do it. But this is something that I've been pushing and I want to keep pushing. Do not let your good reasons be a justification for bad behavior. For having money sure I feel good like a mother. It it do feel good. <laughs> it feel fucking when good. You, when you look at that, I could do whatever I want. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> but but once they get the stuff that yep. they always dreamed of, this is the key. What what is your standard? Your standard could be so small that when you get with me, I got you everything that you wanted already. Mm -hmm. And now you're bored. Now it's over. I bought everything that you ever looked for. You never wanted a Maserati. You never wanted a mansion. You wanted a million dollar home. You wanted to have a nice house. You wanted to have nice clothes and all that. Now you're calling your friends. I'm bored in the house. I got everything. Yep. I don't have any purpose in life. Everybody's <laughs> looking for the one percenter. That's what everybody wants. I want the one percenter. I, I want the guy who looks good. I want the guy who's making money. I want the guy who's good in bed. I want the guy who's funny. He travels. He got nice hair. He smells good. Family values. They want all of these guys. That doesn't exist in, in one guy. It doesn't. Right? Yeah. So when you're looking for that, they have a whole trailer. Think about women. They got a whole trailer. Yo, he got to be tall, dark skin, bald head, long hair, braids, blah, 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 blah. But as soon as a man, but as soon as a man comes and says. He's to explain himself. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not me. But as soon as a man, <laughs> but, but as soon as a man How comes in and says, <laughs> taller than you. But but as Damn. soon as a man comes in and says, I want somebody light skin, yeah, with a big butt. It, he, it's a problem. And yo, it's a problem. Now you got all of these checklists that you want to go on, and I'm gonna get back to your thing. Mm -hmm. That's the psychology. I'm a yeah. psychology, a thought process man. Right. So if you asking me these questions of why you can't keep a man, I'm telling you that your psychology is totally off from where I'm at. How are you going to keep me money or not? And that's where we that's where the gap is with the new boss. Bitch, the psychology is gone. We us as men, we're still on the old psychology that worked. Yeah. For us. We're still on. A, and, and with that being said, uh -huh. we are still on the old psychology, which means. What you do today can affect Actually, where we go later. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So you could be cool. See, these women be thinking it's cool to be outside from 20 to 30. Mm -hmm. And then try to come home at 31. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. This home doesn't exist for you. Listen, now, we have the locks have changed. Yep. There's actually somebody already in this house. And your opportunity is now dwindling. Try my neighbor. It's called shelf life. And, and yeah, and that's what's happening. See, like, it's a double standard, and I like this double standard because it benefits me, right? I'm just being honest. Since we it's true. Honest. It's reality. I could go and have sex with a thousand women, and I could be like, yo, so, like, you know, I'm not going to lie. My body count is way high, like, way more than 100, right? I'm not going to tell you a thousand. But you're like, uh, all right, and you might give me a chance. But if you tell a man that your body count is 60, 40, <laughs> yeah, 30. <laughs> you laid with 30. In the back. You, laid, you laid with 30 guys. My chest. I'm like, yo, I can't do it. You could, I, I could rock with you, but I would never build with you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It is a double standard, though. Yeah, it's okay for men to be sluts. So, do you feel as though women are afraid to make the first move? And why? Um, yes and no. Um, I think women are afraid to make the first move when they've been around a lot of cornball men. 
I think when women get confident, they they don't mind making the first move. So that's how my girl got a baby. She took me out to eat. Only confident women make the first move. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can not, you can be confident and not make a first move. But if you're making the first move as a woman, you are a confident woman. Ninety percent of men said that they would go on a date with a woman if she was to ask them, like you know. Oh yeah. yeah, they, they would. Oh yeah, what? What? they yeah. would. Yeah. They would. Make Hell the first yeah. move in a relationship. Yeah. In general, women don't approach men. So if you do, women, if you have the nerve to approach a man that the you nerve. like. <laughs> It takes nerve because if they're with another female, they're gonna look at them crazy. They're gonna approach that man. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like, come on. You're out with four girls, like, I'm gonna approach this nigga right here. This nigga fine. Nah, me, right? no way. It's, it's more so of a stigma for a female to do that because we're initiating it. Typically, it's like, you know, see, you know, CD, what's it, Sadie Hawkins? You know, the way they do the dances and like the. Men. Sadie Hawkins, that, yeah, yeah, when they invite the guy. Yeah. And it's, it's role reversal. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, but what it's I do know, rehearsal. what I do role know rehearsal. is that it's pretty women think are too entitled. To go ahead and, and seek a man, I which is crazy. I to don't me. agree with that yeah. though. I think the pretty what? women are that. usually the ones that like, step up. Yeah. The ones that come to me, I'd be like, no offense. I'd be like, why is it you? <laughs> like, 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 come on, like now nah, I no. Nah. I think I think in my <laughs> lifetime, the pretty women have been the one when I say I don't think they come up and say, What's your name and all that? They strike conversation. Yeah. That's how us men know. Oh no, I'm talking about the what's your name? No, how are you? I'm talking about. I want you, and I'm like, you want nah, me? Nah, I'm talking little about little Rico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about the one that actually comes up and strikes conversation to let you know she wants to pursue something. I think a lot of women yeah, do that though. Every man does not. Most men. You going based upon that? Most men do not get approached. Because they do not. Most men look unconfident and insecure. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the when reason the... is. I'm just saying, like yeah. Ace telling you, you're speaking from a standpoint of one side. Yes. So Most... listen, my guys. Uh. If you want a girl to approach you, you could do one of a few methods, right? You could be. Tell them my method. Tell them my method. I got you because it right. worked for me a couple times too, <laughs> right? You could do one of a few methods, right? Well, first and foremost, out of all these methods, you need to be confident. Uno. Right? And, and women can smell confidence even if you don't even have a facial expression being expressed. Yeah. But one of the few methods, you could be the life of the party. But you're gonna get good and bad, right? You're gonna get girls that say, "Oh, I want to be with him," and then you're gonna get girls that say, "He's too much for me." Yeah. Then you could also be the dude in the back. That's chilling, me. That's me. Quiet. I don't want to talk to nobody. That's me. And a lot of girls <laughs> like that because they feel more secure. They're like, oh, he's not even out there like that. Whatever happens between me and him will stay between me and him. Dang. So you could have a couple. Of, those are the two methods that we know of. But regardless, you need to have confidence and security no matter which method that you do choose. I'm just going to just be a devil's advocate going on to being attractive and, you know, women liking confidence. Mm -hmm. Ugly guys get love. Do they no, got some money? Yes, they no, do. They don't. They yes, get, they do. They get, they get, they get, they what get. type of, no, let her talk. Let, let me, let, let, let her talk. Let her elaborate. What type of love do they get? What type of love do they get? Tell us. So females go for an ugly guy because one, they know that typically another female is not gonna look at him like, oh well, I want him. That Love sounds love. pitiful. Go no, ahead. That is I'm disgusting. You how some but go ahead, think. finish. This is really how some finish. Go think. ahead. Go ahead. And so they know one, especially if she's attractive. Why would he step out if that's the best thing he could get? Cause it's not. <laughs> Cause he got <laughs> money. Why, yo? He I got money. Even, it's not about money, but it's just. If you were an ugly guy, he got coins. Stop it! You ain't just yes. picking an ugly broke ass dude to be like, oh, I'm with you, cause nobody else wants you. No way. But yes, like I, like he said, he's only with you cause he purchased you, and he will purchase the next. Yes, he will purchase another one. He will, there are a lot of melanin dojos out there. And he's no, going, no, no, and, no, no, and, and he's no, throwing no. the money out like, where you at? Braid it up, natural hair. Yeah. I'm taking you all. I got the bread for you. I know you don't like me because I don't look good. So I'm going to throw this money on my forehead and I'm going to attract you. You know what I just thought about? You know how, yo, I'm, this is a no judgment zone. You say this, but. You know how less of a person you feel about yourself 
to feel that you have to date somebody who has no choice but to choose you? There's, there's sad, that's sad. That's that's sad. So like, there's females who are not confident, and that's why they like. Okay, well, if I go to a guy who's less attractive than me, I'm okay. He's not going to reject me. And some people they struggle with self love. But how are you going to go to somebody else with that type of self esteem? Because if 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 that's how you feel and you already bringing baggage to the relationship that I don't know about, and it's not gonna work out, we like. When you're dealing with a partnership, we have to think long term. No. I feel like a lot of people are thinking short term. Like Rico said, I'm gonna do what I what what I think that you want me to do to lock you in. Now, once I get locked in, what are you gonna do now? Keep being fake, or you're gonna now be the person that you really are? Yeah. And how? And that goes back to the original question: How are you gonna hold a man down or keep a man? We're not saying the man is all valuable. We're saying you want him, correct? You want this man with you. How are you going to keep this man with you if you're pretending? I don't, I don't want to say that it's pretending. There's a lot of people who are, they're broken and they're looking for love. And for some of them, they might not have that love growing up. And so they look for that in their relationships now. You so know, they may not come together with all their pieces together, but if they see you and just think, well, I care for this person, they can help me be a better person, heal, then so be it. Well, I mean, I think I was taught, not I think, I was taught to trust your process, right? That's what I was taught since we had nothing, since whatever, whatever. I was always taught, trust your process. And I think that people don't trust their process and they let that reflect on how they f they think that where they at right now in their life and they take that and be like, that's how I should feel about myself. And I think a lot of people struggle with self-confidence because um, nobody's teaching people to believe in themselves, right? How you teach that? And, and that's the thing. And, and the thing is... I don't believe somebody can technically teach you how to believe in, in yourself. You just have to be surrounded by people that believe in themselves and you learn how to do but it. How do you do that? Yeah. Well, if you don't know, if you don't believe in yourself, yeah. and, and this is all your question, if you don't mm -hmm. believe in yourself and you're not around people that does that, how do you, where do you get that from? Because I feel like that that's just something that we're born with. Nah, it's no. not. Like, mm -hmm. I think, see, I mean, I believed in myself, so I might be, um, I believed in myself, so I'm not an exception to the rule, mm -hmm. but I always knew I needed to know more. I needed to be better. And that's why I come to people like yourself, A, um, some, some, other of my, some more of my other friends, because I know that I don't know it all. I know I'm not everywhere where I need to be in my life, right? And all it just starts by is accepting where you're at. And then, you know how many um, young men that I have in my DMs that ask me questions about where they need to go because they don't know how to start? And it's, I think it's kind of funny because people don't understand that showing vulnerability, there's nothing wrong with not knowing mm -hmm. yeah. what to do. There's nothing wrong with not knowing where to go. There's nothing not wrong with not understanding how to take the first step. But there's everything wrong when you decide not to move. Mm -hmm. So when you know and you're at a position where you can't move, whether it's confidence, whether it's self-love, whatever the case may be, you know the people who have it. You can see it. People say it all the time. Like, like A just said, we're talking from a place where we believe where, where everybody comes and flocks to us. They see who has the confidence. Yeah. They see what, you know, you can, you can see who has whatever you're lacking. You go to that person and you ask that person questions. A lot of people possess confidence in them somewhere, but they let the fact of the unknowing of these answers overshadow their confidence. What about somebody like myself, right? Mm -hmm. I always been confident, I played sports, I did that, but I stuttered my whole life, so that made me shy, right? So it just came to a point where 
I had to decide for myself if I was gonna go get it or if I was gonna be this person in the corner and continuously not be confident in whatever it is. I knew I was smart, mm -hmm. I knew I was popular, I knew girls liked me, it didn't matter though. Yeah. How I felt about myself for that one little thing, I had to get past that. And I just decided to walk through the wall. Some people don't decide to walk through the wall. And I'm using my daughter as a supreme example. She's very, very shy. And she looks at me and be like, Dad, you're not shy. And everybody be like, your dad is the shyest person inside the entire world, right? I'm only cool with, you know how, yeah. how I am when I'm around you or Han when we by ourselves. It's nothing like the camera or nothing like that they see. I'm a totally different person. But when I got to do what I have to do, and I'm, and, I'm and I'm trying to relate this to a relationship, to a man with confidence mm -hmm. and everything, you have to be able to walk through the wall if you're trying to seek, if you're trying to seek out something. People rock with us, yeah, you have an aura, you have a personality, but you know why people really, really rock with us? Because we go get us. Mm -hmm. We're not standing. Yeah, you might look attractive, but there's a lot of attractive dudes. Boy, Women yeah. are attracted to you more because you out there, you go getting, you're confident, you got friends, you cultivate. There's so many things that add up to make us who we are. But the basis, like you said, starts with confidence within yourself. Mm -hmm. In some way, somehow, if these women or these men find this, it'll decrease the gap between them. And we don't even gotta have these type of conversations because they'll be able to come out and say, this is who I am, whether you like it or not. If we're not compatible, compatibility is key. Yeah, and I think that, um, I said this before on his table, but bro, girl, whoever, be you. Yeah. Listen, y'all watch it at the table. Not everybody likes me. I never, never let somebody's liking of you deter you from being who you wow. are. Because whoever, whoever decides to be with you, whether it's a friend or more, are be, is being with you. Not a facade, not for what you got, not for how you look, but for how you are. And that's the most important thing. And going back to what you're saying is like, I feel like a lot going back, a lot of women that do date men who are um, not as attractive, yeah. I believe, and I'm not a woman, are more so not confident in being themselves and, and, and what they possess. But they've been burnt, she said, too. They could have been burnt, too. I mean, yeah, but like the thing is, this is what I'm saying before. Trust the process. Listen, everybody gets burnt. But, but a lot of people think that when they get, I'm sorry, but a lot of people think that when they get burnt, it makes them not trust the process. We, we had to learn that. We got burnt before and turned our head like, I'm not doing that no more. And then it came to a certain point where you had to. Do it again. And you yeah. had to now trust the process and say, if I get burnt, that's a part of life. But with the emotions and feelings, not just with women, with men, when they get burnt, that's the most difficult. They don't want to come yeah. outside. It is a very difficult thing. We've all been heartbroken. I had one girl that I'll say that she watched the show. She's like, oh, you talk about me crazy, blah, blah, blah. She's the only person that I could say hurt me and had me wilding out, right? Mm -hmm. I had to recover. I was still this guy, though. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but whatever occurred with the relationship with her made me feel like I wasn't that guy no more. And I had to find, I had Dang. to go and find myself again. But I mean, so, and, and this is where I, I mean, I struggle right with that because I'm like, I come from a place where I was already by myself, born by myself. So I had to figure everything out by myself. Mm -hmm. So I never put the power of me in somebody else's hands. But the women, do, but the women do that though. I, I, yeah. I know, I know, I know that they do that, I, and I'm, and I'm very, and some men do it too, right? That's a fact. But I'm just saying, in general, when you put the power of you in your own hands, you eliminate certain things that you may have to go through. You eliminate settling less for the person that you're unattracted to. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking you dead in your eyes. I could never imagine me being happy with an ugly woman. That's terrible. I could never do that. I mean, at least he's being honest. That's terrible. I could never do I that. I can't do it. 
And there's other type of women that he that they know. <laughs> I'm not gonna say on camera. No way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, nice <laughs> so flowers. we're not gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't because they already kill us on YouTube yeah. already for our oh opinion. So I'm not gonna let them kill me for another female opinion. But <laughs> you, we That's have the it's certain things that we just will not go to. I can't yeah. imagine being with somebody who I am not attracted to. And I'm not taking something away from the lesser looking people. I'm not the most extravagant man in the world, but I'm not ugly neither. I know that for a fact. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let's throw that but, out there. Yeah, let's throw that out there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, you have, to, it has to be some type of attraction. Yes. Yeah. It has to be. If it's going to be, if it's going to last. And that's kind of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lasting relationships. Not, I'm good and we cool. It didn't work out. What's going to last? And what's going to last is compatibility which people are not searching for that no more. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to even settle. You're not, they're not searching for compatibility. The, the number one thing that everybody out here right now is searching for money and or status. Even men. Yes. Yeah. Even men. They're searching for women with money and status now. It's like if I'm doing this because it's like, like I just said, if a woman makes a lot of money, she's looking for a man on her level. If a man make a lot of money, I'm not looking for a woman on my level. I'm looking for compatibility. Somebody I like, somebody that I want to be with, blah, 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 blah. That's where the gap is. We need the women that are now making the money to bring themselves down a little bit and say, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm making this money to somebody that gets with me is going to be fortunate. This man that's compatible with me is going to have a good woman mm -hmm. that's making money and is doing this. That's how they have to look at it. Like the man, like I'm relishing. I made a lot of money, but I'm making more money again now like I used to make doing this. I'm relishing the fact that I can take care of my wife. She makes a lot of money, but yo, you about to be stopped working again when this year is up. Yeah, you told us. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what it has to go to. People are must think about Sharon, we can't take this money to the grave with us. As a woman, like, I feel like we give men chances when we shouldn't. I'm not saying that we shouldn't give guys chances, but I feel like they give too many chances. I feel like, mm. just like baseball, three strikes, you're out. If once you recognize a pattern in someone, okay, let's say you have a dude, this, that, and the third, he takes his phone to the bathroom all the time. i do that. But like, Literally in the middle of the night or when you're showering. I mean, like, in a way where, you're, okay, like, he must be talking to someone. So you are who you are, right? So when you decided to think that this person, you gave him three strikes to show him who you were, that's a bad decision. Because after the first decision, I mean, after the first strike, you should have known who you know he who is. They are. You know who they are. You should have known who he is and or where he's at in his life. Right now, I mean, I'm not agreeing to this whole mm -hmm. phone in the bathroom sneaking thing. Listen, I go to the bathroom. I said <laughs> 24. I okay, let me, but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Another reason, which is a bad decision, and another reason why women don't keep a man is because they're always suspecting something. Women's intuition be on point though. Women's intuition be ass. Be Let me ass. tell you, no. that shit is no, the worst. No. It's the be, worst. Hey, yo, yo, it's the be worst ass. intuition. Me, in the because you know what? It'd be crazy when we doing shit. Y'all don't be thinking you know. about nothing. Thank when you. we not doing shit, you on our case. So guys, so what do you feel as though women need to do? What? Keep going. Okay. What do you feel as? <laughs> what do you feel that women need to do in order to keep a man? I'm about to pooty tail. <laughs> Go ahead, so. oh, okay. oh, me, oh, thank you. I think that they need to work on partnerships. Mm. I mm. think that they need to understand that the relationship is a partnership that we're sharing in all aspects of life, not just what they're thinking. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like that they don't look at that. Like, we're partners. I might not pick up the food today. Then you pick up the food today. If I can't do this, if I can't do this, Communication comes with a partnership. Mm -hmm. If we're partners, we have to communicate. And that's, the, and that's one of the many gaps that I feel like that the relationships have is that they, women and men, think of what they want their relationship to be. 
They never seen it. They don't know. So sometimes the reality that they place upon a relationship is not real. It's over. Uh, uh, they're overly. Um, I'm trying to work for the word. They overly seek out things that are not really there. There's not reality. So you can't find or be with somebody that has these lofty dreams that they that are not reality. And then when they come down, it becomes a problem now. They don't understand that this is a partnership. If you have the lofty dreams, I might just help you get there. That don't mean that I have to do it for you or I need to do it myself. You're my partner. So if you're not here for the long term with the good and bad, because partnership comes with a lot of good, comes with a lot of bad. But we tend to turn around fast when it gets bad. But trials and um, tribulations come with everything that you're going to face. With a relationship, with a job, with a career. So I think that they need to stick to it more. Don't give up. And trust reality, not what they want it to be. And other people's perceptions, like yeah. friends. Well, that's not the reality because yeah. the perception from your friends, like we had talked about, is they might be thinking and dreaming upon what your situation should be. Oh, I wouldn't do that if that was my man, but they don't even have one. No one even wants them. But you're taking the advice from them, from a person who doesn't have a man, who a man doesn't want them, they don't, they don't desire them, and they're lonely and they're miserable. Yeah. So why would you talk to them? Talk to your partner. partner. Yep. Thank you. Women need to understand that taking direction is not a belittling thing. The new age women, which I, I admire, because they're, they're capable and have shown and proven of all of the successes that they can obtain and accolades that they can obtain. And I, I, me personally, I love it, right? But just because you're getting direction, just because somebody's telling you what you should do or what to do, you don't have to rebel just to prove a point. I think that listening in totality lacks when it comes to keeping a man. Men listen to women. Whether or not they understand that, we listen to women. We hear them out even when we don't want to. Mm -hmm. And for we find a way to implement whatever their needs are so then that way they can at least try to be happy. I don't think women listen to men. When a man tells a woman or is giving her direction for whatever the case may be, the first thing she wants to do is become combative, rebel, or challenge. Challenge. And I don't think any of those things are conducive to keeping or sustaining um, a successful relationship. Long term. Yeah. Um, so what you think? I mean, I was just taking in what both of you guys were saying, especially what you were saying about like that women don't listen to men. I, I understand that, and I have a lot of guy friends, and they tell me about their problems that that a girl just yells at them and don't hear them out, and it's kind of like talking to a brick wall because her mind is set, and mm. it's just, you're not talking, you're yeah. just... You're yelling at this point. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing being thrown through, not thrown through, I'm trying to articulate that. Really. Yeah, like, it's, it's not, not working. Not being talk, talked out. It's yeah. not a conversation that's mm -hmm. being had. Mm -hmm. It's pointing fingers, and this is what I think, and prove me wrong. Yeah. But that's not a conversation. Yeah, and then just like your partner is supposed to be your partner. You're supposed to love them and have that relationship with them. And when you're not doing that, you're making your partner your enemy. Mm. That's real. What do you think that, um, on the flip side, what do you think that men um, could Need do? Need to do. Yeah. To tighten this partnership. And I don't like your posture. <laughs> like, like, why you like, 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 we didn't do all that. Like, my women, like, nah, it was not this Give us this one thing. Cool. Give us yeah. one thing that you think that men can do right now to hold on to the relationships better. I feel as though my main thing is just honesty and communication. That's like, I'm not going to say about money because ready. Just money is just. Filter noise, like if you're looking for money in a relationship, you're in a relationship for the wrong reason. 
but communication and honesty as long as we're able to talk it out like if we're having issues i don't want to hear from someone else or find out because you've been cheating or whatever the case may be like whatever the issues may be in that relationship as long as me and my side were able to talk like yo like you've been blowing my feet lately like you've been pissing me off but we're talking about it. i'm like okay well i get a little bit like upset coming from work because i'm frustrated i'll relax maybe go to the spa more so that i'm not taking out anything on you because yeah. if i'm living with you and it's not working with us having some type of peace in the house then there's like no point of being in a relationship because like i'm it's gonna yeah. be hell you know yeah so as long as you're able to be honest and communicate thoroughly as adults and respectfully it shouldn't be no problems. It work for you. Yeah, it shouldn't be no problems. That's in a perfect world. I mean, <laughs> that's not, if this whole world was so. Obviously, perfect. there's going to be problems, but it'll be more manageable. Like it won't be as like, oh well, we argue once and that's it. But before we wrap it up, I got I got one question for okay, you. Okay, what's my question? Because I've always been the man that's been straight up in any relationship that I have, and I found out women can't take the truth. I think they can. Mm, yeah. Nah. They, nah. They, taking the truth up to a certain extent is not taking the truth. You can come talk to them about who you are. Yeah. This is who I am. They totally agree with it. And as, after you start to unveil the rest of the truth, they can't take it. But every woman wants a man that's honest. And on the flip side is you ain't even got to say nothing. Men want women to be straight up too, right? When, I mean, yeah, men want women to say straight, yes. but men in the very beginning. Yeah, but though. men, I know they can't take it. I think men can take the truth. Nah, bro. Men can't take the truth after we've been lied to, though. And if you told me you was a thought bucket, think about Simpy that was in the stories. Nah, that I, you sent to me. Nah, listen. If and because oh. I, if you was a thought, right? You had a history. And you came to me and you said, yo, Rico, you look good and I like you. I'm about to ride you. And after I ride you, don't love me. And if you do, that's on you. But I'm going to go rock with Esso. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, so what are we doing when you want to do it? Today or tomorrow? That's not honest. That ain't, that's that honesty. Ain't, that ain't the relationship. We're talking about if you're in a relationship. That's a thought. That's just someone. That's don't matter. You. Even yeah. if it's thought, like, Don't nobody okay. care about no thought, okay? But even We're if she's being... No, listen, I, this is what happens, bro. I think men can't take the truth when we accepted a lie. Men can take the truth from the rip. Men did not take the truth, with, truth when they've been accepting lies. If I believed you to be Melanin Dojo, who is an innocent queen, and now we're dating, and I thought you was an innocent queen, and I found out that you really wasn't, I can't accept that. So you don't know dudes that fall in love with whores and know what they're doing? I do it all the and time. Still, and, still, and still be tripping. But they're telling. And, I mean, and still be tri you know, tripping. No, you know, no, no. Not the on. tripping part. I know the ones that, the, the, yes. They, I know, like. They are ones listen, that, Rico that have fell in love with a little liar, you know See, you got you to gotta be on this joint, right? As if you're, everybody's not you. But and I, you're on this joint as nah, if. Nah, You're on this joint as if everybody here thinks like me and Rico, and they don't. We are nah. one side. We are one mm -mm. side of the coin. No. No the way. other side of the coin, and I'm gonna leave it at this because I know we got to wrap. Yeah. Is the guy who you sent me his stories? But there's a difference because he lies to himself. You can't expect nobody who lies to themselves to be okay with the truth.